Hello! Uh, I've been a little pensive these last few days and um, uncertain as to whether to carry on with these videos or not. Um, and then a uh, short series of little events have persuaded me to carry on. And also actually given me the topic for, for today's vlog. So um, today's vlog is entitled uh, Never Underestimate Your Influence. And basically this comes down to the idea of uh, um, actually going back to the end of last week's vlog where I said, as my mother taught me, if you don't have anything nice to say, don't say anything at all. Um, it sort of comes a bit off that, which is to never underestimate the power of your words and the power of your deeds or actions. Um, and something I learned as a teacher when I was teaching in further and higher education uh, 16 plus, you get a lot of um, young adults, as they are, um, turning up to study with issues. Um, and many of those issues have come about from something a teacher or a parent or guardian or um, even peer might have said um, that had such a dramatic impact on that person's self-belief. Um, self-worth, confidence and um, I would imagine a lot of the time whatever is said or done is not intentional. Uh, it could just be a reaction. Um, it could be coming from a place of anger or fear or upset or um, it could be coming from a good place uh, in an attempt to motivate. Um, however, the wrong thing said at the wrong time can have life-altering consequences. Um, but then you think, well, okay, a lot of some of the most successful people on this planet are successful because of something that someone said and they wanted to then prove that belief, that comment, that action wrong. Um, so <laughs> what do you not say, not do? Um, and I think it's maybe less about that and more about just be aware, be aware of the impact of your words and your deeds um, and ensure that whatever you do, whatever you say, that the intention behind them is a good intention. Um, we're all going to make mistakes, we're all going to say the wrong thing at the wrong time. Uh, it's just life, that happens and actually a lot of us just have to get over it, um, get a backbone, grow a thicker skin, get over it. Um, was it sticks and stones may break my bones? Oh, got very Cornish. Um, and, uh, but words will never hurt me. Um, words do hurt. Um, actions hurt. But um, it's more about knowing the influence that those words and actions have. And um, as I uh, explained right at the start, I was unsure whether to carry on with these videos or not. And then last night I received an email and it was from a young lady who uh, I did a talk at her school um, nearly two years ago now and she'd only just got in touch with me to share with me her personal journey and the power of something that I said in that talk and she just emailed me to thank me um, nearly two years on. I had no idea the influence of the words I said um, and it's something I use with an awful lot of people. Um, I'll reiterate here, it's this idea that if you worry about what people think about you, then just know this, what people think about you is none of your business. It's their business. And it was, it was this that she accredited to, um, well, I suppose it, I'm not put too small a point on it, but um, effectively might have just saved her life. Um, and, and then that's why, that's why then, and actually um, someone very special said to me last night, um, even if just one person benefits from your videos, then it's what they're worth doing. So this is what I'm doing. So this is why I'm carrying on for now, for now. Um, so, um, yeah, never underestimate your influence. You have no idea the impact that
that your words and your actions can have on another person. Now, that doesn't necessarily make you responsible for then what that person does because we all have choice. We all have the choice to um, pay attention to what people say and do or not. Um, so, what I don't want to do is, is end up creating a sense of now worry because what if I say the wrong thing? What if I do the wrong thing? No. As long as in your mind your intention is kind, as long as you're in your mind your attention, intention is to be a good person um, and do the right thing, you will say and do what is right at that time and you will be doing the best that you can. Um, chances are you're going to upset someone, that's fine. And that, do you know what? It's okay to be upset. It's okay if someone gets upset. But it's then what they do with that that not only defines what you've said or maybe done, but defines them as a person. Um, I've said it before, I'll say it again, stuff happens. It's what you do with that stuff, it's how you deal with that stuff that defines you as a person. I have come across through my work and, and through friends um, the most horrific stories, the most horrific life experiences that have created the most inspirational human beings um, with incredible resilience and strength and just so inspiring. Um, equally, I've come across many a victim who has stayed in a victim mentality and wasted their life because they're hurt. Um, so, okay, let's put this in some sort of nutshell. Um, be aware of the power of what you say and what you do. Use that for good wherever you can. Your words, your deeds will influence and they can influence as powerfully for bad as they can for good. The best thing you can be is inherently kind, not for any other reason than it's the right thing to do. Just be kind um, and use your words and use your actions for good to make not only your life better, other people's lives better, and so that we have a better planet to coexist on. Um, but never underestimate the power of your influence. And as Spider-Man said, with great power comes great responsibility. And that's where I'm going to leave you today. So remember to please subscribe to this channel, check out all my other videos as well, um, share, tell people about them. And if you want to come and see me, have some personal coaching, then get in touch. You can do that through my website at www.super-humans.com. Um, like my Facebook page, follow me on Twitter, at the lovely Rob, and uh, you know all this stuff. But most of all, share, share this inspiration, motivation, snippets of life, whatever, whatever you want to call it. Um, get on board, join the motivation train. Um, okay, I'm going to leave you with that, so have yourself a super week and I will catch up with you very, very soon. And thanks for watching. Take care. Bye.